YouTube, man, what's good, man? It's your boy Cozy coming at y'all with another video, man. So, as y'all can tell, my voice is a little deep simply because I've been sick for the last couple of days. I ain't gonna hold you, like, I think I've been around a couple people that been sick, so that shit kind of kind of wore up on me. I ain't gonna hold you. But, man, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling blessed, man. If you woke up this morning, man, tell God thank you, bro. Tell God thank you, man. Give all glory to God, you feel me? Uh, one thing I just want to say, man. I'm truly appreciative, I'm truly humble, and I definitely appreciate y'all showing love on my last video. And the last video I'm talking about is the one with, um, the one when I sat to my mom's shooting, man. So let me show y'all right quick, hold on, hold on. As y'all can see, man, 421 views in four days, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna lie, man, that is insane. So I definitely appreciate everybody who showed love to that video, man. I definitely hope that y'all keep running these videos up because that's bringing me all the motivation in the world to keep grinding and keep going, you feel me? So um, I'm definitely going up on views. I'm definitely going up on subscribers, you know what I'm saying? And one thing I'm starting to see is you just don't know what video will take off for you, you feel me? So with that being said, man, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep grinding, and I'm here. So I ain't going to lie, man. I indeed do got a couple packages. Um, I got two packages, and... Here that go right here. So without further ado, I'm gonna open them and show y'all what I got in these packages. All right, y'all. So without a further ado, man, let's open up these packages and show y'all what I got, man. So like I said, this is this is the first package. And if y'all watch my, if y'all been watching my latest vlogs, man, uh, one thing I did say is I don't really plan on like I'm a buy stuff, but I really don't plan on buy stuff because you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna build my stuff up to where people want to send me stuff. You feel me? And that's currently happening, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna get to a point to where people sending me stuff to a P.O. box or people sending me stuff in the mail or things of that necessity, you feel me? So, like I said, I'd be copping little pieces in here and there just because I might need them, but in all, and wholeheartedly and realistically, yeah, you're sitting there. If you want me to rock that shit, sit in that shit, you feel me? And I'm just coming like that, you feel me? But without a further ado, let me open this for y'all some trade. Alright y'all, so we indeed got a billionaire studios jacket. I ain't gonna hold y'all, this shit look kinda huge. So I might have to air dry it and shrink it, but I ain't gonna lie, man, I had, to, I had to get it. It was tough. I think this is one of their original pieces. I can see man, you got number nine on the back, you feel me? Slimy though. Nah man, but in all seriousness, man, like I said, this is a fire piece, man. Check out the details, you know what I'm saying? They got like the pharmaceutical label on the on the top. Then like I said, number nine in the back. Then, you know, but you know, studios, man. So that's a hard piece, man. So shout out to Boom Boys Video Studios. Um, they currently, um, they located in Atlanta, Georgia. So shout out to them, man. Them boys doing their thing. <coughs> Ooh, they got a bad cold, man. Hey, man. One thing I say, man. Thank God I got good friends, man, because they be looking out for me. Like I said, um, the other day I was, I was like coughing real bad, and Ash gave me some. Some uh, I think it's Nyquil or something like that. But she basically definitely hooked me up, so I definitely appreciate that, man. So, oh snap! Oh, here we go another one piece of my clothes, man. So I indeed cop some um some pants. And I'm gonna look kind of big, man. But uh, I can't think of. Let me see the let me see the name of the brand. Let's see if I can find it right quick. Dang, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I don't remember the name of the brand. But I do remember I cop these, man, and say, you got a star right here. I can't, can't think of the brand. And it say 101, man. So, like I said, this year, I'm definitely going to be styling. I'm definitely going to be bringing the pieces. I'm definitely going to be trim. And I'm telling y'all, bro, I'm going to step my fashion game up because this year, I'm telling you, I'm coming. Like, I'm telling you. Like, I don't think y'all really understand. Like, this year, I'm really going, I'm coming hard. You feel me? So, those are the cop, those are the pieces that uh, I got in the mail. Um... I still haven't received my other billionaire studio shirt. I think it's the one with the clown on it, a bogo the clown, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm still waiting for that in the mail, but I know they've been shipping them out piece by piece. So that is the last indeed piece that I'm waiting on. And I still got, I ain't gonna hold y'all, bro. From the previous clip, like from the, like the last vlog, maybe the last two vlogs, I said I was supposed to get them billionaire um, shorts fixed. I think I might do that, do that today too, because when, um, when I was supposed to get them fixed, I ended up going to Houston and I never got them fixed. I ain't gonna hold you. So. That's today's agenda. Well, that, that might be today's agenda. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know what I got in store. But I definitely need to get those pants fixed. And I definitely need to go get my... I need to get those shorts and those pants fixed because those are like... I still I haven't worn the shorts yet. 
and I want to wear the pants. So I definitely need to go get that fixed. So yeah, man. But but yeah, man, that is indeed the pieces that I just got, man. So they got some cool little pieces, like I said, man. This year, I'm coming trim with the fashion. Um, I am gonna be buying pieces from other clothing brands here and there, but I really gonna build myself up, network, and market myself to where they send me free pieces. And then you know what I'm saying? They pay me to wear their clothes and all that good stuff, man. So it's coming by the glory of God. It's happening, man. And I also want to say, man. Um, I changed a lot of habits too. I ain't gonna feel you like all that clubbing and all that other stuff I used to do, bro. Like I don't do that no more. You feel me? Cause, like, I like, I probably will like once I like, like achieve my goals. But like last year, like not saying I was bullshitting, but like last year, like I I didn't really like I accomplished a lot without accomplishing nothing. If that makes sense, you feel me? And like. I don't feel like I should be in the club, you no know, chilling and vibing, and I ain't even hit 10k subscribers yet. You know what I'm saying? But let alone a thousand subscribers. You feel me? So that's the goal, man. My goal for this year is to hit 10k subs. No matter how I'ma do it, I'ma network, market myself to get 10k subs. And Lord bless if I reach over 10k subs, then God be the glory. But like I said, God has been with me. He has been on my side, and I've been gaining subscribers like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it, I ain't saying it's like a like a like a crazy jump or nothing like that, but. You know, little ones, little twos, little threes, little fours, and at the end of the day, I'm grateful because I know it's coming. You feel me? So y'all just have y'all put faith in the kid, man. If you watching this video, man, hit that like, I'm a subscribe button. And if this is your, and if this is your first time watching my video, then hit that subscribe button. Tune in. You feel me? Watch all my old content and see her, see where I came from. You will see that you will like watch my past videos to now. You will see the progression. You feel me? So yeah, but. This year, man, um, I'm I'm putting my faith, or I always have faith in God, but putting my faith in this YouTube journey, it's gonna blow up for me. When I look back over months from now, I'm be like, damn, like I really did it, like I'm I'm really living my truth. You feel me? So, with that being said, bro, I'm in grind mode. Let's get it. Also, another thing, man. So, if y'all watching this video and y'all hear me going, it's really because I'm trying to catch my breath, not because I'm out of breath. Like I noticed, like in my videos, I'll be talking like hella fast. And I be trying to like get out what I'm saying so I don't forget what I'm about to say, if that makes sense. You feel me? So one thing I got to do is start just talking like naturally. You feel me? Like, because uh, cause I had, uh, shout, out to, shout out to Jada. But she told me, she was like, it's good you talk fast because you get to the point, but you talk too fast. You feel me? And sometimes I be peeping. And I'm like, damn. Because I, I, I be like, yeah, man, it's your boy Cozy and I. And yeah, man, I'm just trying to. I be trying to catch my breath because I be saying that shit so fast I'm trying to hurry me get it out but I just need to slow down y'all gonna watch the vlog right right and I just need to just say that shit you feel me so I just need to slow down say what I'm say what I feel mean what I say and just keep it like that you feel me not trying to like per se just rush my videos or not my videos but watch um rush my words and I uh, see I'm doing it now but I'm trying not to watch my words, y'all. So I'm trying to just speak, you know, like fluently to where y'all understand what I'm saying. And we'll rock out like that, you know? So, yeah, just rock out. All right, y'all. So what I'm currently about to do now, man, um, if y'all can see, I got this shoe rack that my mama bought me for Christmas. And if y'all watched the, um, well, I know y'all, the majority of y'all did, but if y'all watched the, um, I took my mom's shoe vlog in the beginning scene, I, I said that she bought me this for Christmas. So, um, I know I got it last year in 2023, but... I ain't gonna lie, I've been kind of busy lately to be wrapping up for NTC, and if y'all don't know, I am military, if it is your first time watching, but uh, NTC also is um, a place where you go to in California for training, so I'll be doing that for a month, man, you know, do I want to go? Hell no, but unfortunately I gotta go, so it is what it is, but right now, I'm about to put this together, because as y'all seen in my um, previous clips, um, I do have a, like, a little shoe, well, you can kind of see it right here a little bit, but... I, I got like a, sh uh, a shoe dresser. Well, it's a dresser, but I use it for a shoe rack. But like I said, I'm in deep putting this together so I can use this as my shoe rack and show appreciation to my mama for buying this because she know I love shoes. And as y'all can see, man, it says we got 12 pieces. So hopefully, well, hopefully it's 12 like actual pieces to where I can set 12 shoes in there. But if not, we're still gonna make it work. But yeah, let's do it. Alright man, so as y'all can see man, I just took everything out of the box and yeah man, so 
Alright, so these are all the pieces I got. I got this. These little pieces right here. Oh, I was looking fast. These little pieces right here. Um, these the pieces with the holes in it. And the actual one there. So, without further ado, let's continue to put it together. Alright, so if y'all know, man, I got a couple shoes, you know what I'm saying, that are kind of bulky. Um, preferably speaking, my Balenciaga stuff. Let me see my Balenciaga stuff. Hold on. Alright, so, dang, I'm gonna try these. Like I said, these heavy sets, try. I'm not gonna lie, they kind of they are huge, but I gotta see how I'm gonna see if it works. But they do indeed fit, man. So shout out to Mama Cozy, you feel me? She definitely did the damn thing, good knees, you feel me? So without further ado, uh, I'm gonna take these out, uh, slide these out, and then I'm gonna continue to keep putting it together. So I'm gonna show y'all the complete. I'm gonna show y'all when it's completely stood up. So. So all right, y'all. So as y'all can see, man, I'm done assembling the shoe rack that my mom made, my mom gave me. So as y'all can see, man, this is the shoe rack right here. I'm not gonna lie, man. It indeed took me like a little minute because like I was also watching motivational vlogs. You know what I'm saying? Because as an upcoming vlogger or upcoming influencer, you gotta watch motivation to be motivation. You feel me? So yeah, man. And also as y'all can see, man, I probably think like, why this nigga so low right now? Cause I know I'm taller than this dresser. But as y'all can see, man, I'm currently on my knees. And don't ask me why I'm on my knees, fuck nigga. But yeah, man. Like I said, man. I indeed, I just completed setting up this, um, setting up the shoe right that my mom gave me. So shout out to my mama for giving me that, man. I'm definitely appreciative, definitely grateful. So what I'm about to do, man. Um, it's still daylight out. So with that being said, man, I plan on going to wash my car because my car is really dirty. And yeah, man. So let's get to it. All right, y'all. So before I head to the car wash, man, I kind of want to show y'all what my car look like right now. So let me show y'all auto, man. So as y'all can see, autumn is dirty as hell, bro. Like. As y'all can see, man, I see all these dark spots. And so, right here, man, I'm currently indeed about to go wash my car because, like I said, bro, I can't be riding around in this type of car. And it look like ash, you feel me? So, that's what I'm about to do, man. I'm about to go to the car wash. And hopefully, I can find some guys that can, um, you know, wash it by hand because I ain't going to hold you like... When I try to go through the machine sometimes, yeah, get the job done, but don't get the job done. You feel me? Like, the back, it be having, like, little particles on it. Like, it still be kind of, like, dirty a little bit. And I don't like that. You feel me? So, if I can find somebody that can wash it by hand, the more the merrier. You feel me? Because, like, I know it's going to get clean. They're going to clean it to the T, the wheels, everything. And like I said, yeah, if I can't find one during this time, just because I know it's about to get dark soon, then, hey, so be it. It is what it is, but I would rather go to a hand wash car wash so they can get the job done. But that's enough yapping, man. I'm on the way to the car wash, and I pick up the camera once I pick up the camera once I get there. Hey y'all, so I actually pulled up to the car wash place, but I guess you know like I told y'all, man. Like I told y'all earlier, it's daylight savings time, so I actually pulled up a little late, man. So he was like, he still got one more car to wash and he wouldn't be able to wash the car. So that means that I got to go through automatic car wash, which is fine, man. So it's all good. Like I said, as long as my car get washed, man. Like I said, I know it probably won't be the best wash I'm going through automatic car wash. But at the end of the day, as long as Autumn get clean from what she look like, it should look like shit. That's all I care about. So, yeah. All right, y'all. What's good, man? So as y'all can see, man, I'm currently at the car wash and I'm getting my car washed. So, um... Yeah, man. One thing I do want to say, man, a shout out to T-Dot. He said he all the way from Nebraska tapping in, you feel me? So, with that being said, man, if, you, if you're a supporter and you're watching me, where you from? Are you from Houston, Dallas, Atlanta, Ohio, New York, Maine, Connecticut, Nebraska, Washington, D.C.? Like, where are you from, man? So, that's the, uh, drop in the comments below. I want to know where my, where my supporters are from, man, because I, I, I ain't going to hold you. Like, I, 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 
I want to be so plugged into the world that I want viewers from everywhere, you feel me? Drop in the comments below where you from, you feel me? I really can't wait until I blow up. I know this shit loud as hell, so bear with me, y'all. But I really can't wait until, like, I just, like, I blow up on YouTube, man. And like I said, like, by the title and thumbnails, y'all can see, man, it's just a life as, a, like, an upcoming influence, you feel me? Like, just stay consistent, stand on my grind, stand on my journey. Because I know when it's my time, it's going to be my time, and I'm going to pop it, and I'm going to make sure that the world see it, you know what I'm saying? In a humble manner, you feel me? So, yeah, man, but... You know what I'm saying? Um, and not even just because I took a picture with him because I was watching his Gold Digger vlogs and I've been, well, actually, before I even knew who he really was, I remember I used to watch him on YouTube with his girlfriend and they used to do on um, the little couples channel and the YouTube I'm talking about is Nair. So I was watching him so early, I was watching Nair vlogs and one thing I want to say is they very motivational, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously he came a long way. He put in grind, he put in hard work, he put in dedication and he's still on his journey, you feel me? So I just want to say to the same man, like, I'm on my journey and I can't wait to inspire people like how he inspired others, you feel me? Because I know it's going to be a time so people are going to be like, man, I remember when you was, and I remember, bro, when you X, Y, and Z, and now, and then, you know what I'm saying, I make it to my destination on my journey, so, man, I just can't wait until that happens, man. God be the glory, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a beautiful thing, man. I don't think people really understand, like, how humble and blessed I am, because seven years ago, man, I was struggling, like, struggling, like, it, it was so bad and like I said I'm thankful for the military simply because you know what I'm saying it, it made me the person who I am you know what I'm saying it gave me the grind it gave me the ambition it gave me the motivation it done everything I'm still in the military but I'm done with the military mentally like I'm ready to get out I'm ready to be a full time YouTuber and I'm ready to dedicate my life to this you feel me so that's why I'm on this journey and that's why I'm grinding so hard and you know what I'm saying I said my goal this year is to aspire and to get 10k subscribers because you know what I'm saying Yes, you get monetized at the 500, depending on if they make you a partner or not. Because it might say, it might not, it might not, even when I get to 500 subscribers, I might not get monetized, you feel me? But, yes, um, I definitely would love to hit 10K subscribers by the end of this year, which, Lord bless, I know I will. So, I'm going to just keep grinding, keep going, and just show y'all my journey, man. But, enough of that yap session. Uh, I think me and the gang going to do something tonight. So, what I'm about to do is, I'm about to get gas, head home. Um, probably edit, start editing on this vlog, and then record later tonight, so i see y'all then. Alright, y'all. So, I know I just left the car wash, but the car wash gave me, like, hella quarters. So, what I'm about to do is I'm about to go pump my gas, as y'all can see, man. I'm at the gas station. Y'all can see behind me. So, let me go inside. Go pay right quick. Ugh. As you get back to the kid. Huh? Uh, no, no, thank you. Do you need some change? Yeah. Okay, I got, I, I ain't gonna lie, that, that gas station gave me like a bunch of quarters, so. Okay, cool. Oh, that's a good camera. Thank you. There you go. Oh, oh it's a lot, yeah. It's, a, it's nearly like a lot. You don't watch? No, no, I do, I do. I don't watch, I gotta watch and dry at home, though. But you stay blessed. Okay. You too. Welcome. How you doing? What pump is that? Let me see. Let me see, y'all. Let me see. Pump seven. Yes, can I put 55 on pump seven? Yes, ma'am. Oh, it's on this one. I'm paying with cash. What are we doing? Um, I'm paying, well, 55 on pump seven. What kind of gas, though? Um, Regular plus or premium? Premium. That's the special one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Premium. Do you have speaker rewards? No. Any donuts or chocolates for you? No, thank you. Fifty-five dollars. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Uh, thank you. But yeah, man. As y'all can see, man. I just, uh, I just did a good deed, man. So it's always do. It's always good to do a good deed. Not because you know you'll get blessed in the long run, but simply because it's good to bless others. You feel me? I definitely, I definitely enjoy blessing others. You feel me? Because. God has blessed me in multiple magnitudes in multiple ways more than I can ever, you know, more than I can ever know. And like I said, sometimes I do catch myself being ungrateful to like, cause like I see what other people have and I be wanting what they have instead of, you know what I'm saying, realizing like God has already blessed me with what I, what I got now. And like I said, I, what I got is farther than what a lot of people got, especially from where I come from. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people 
are on a journey, they're on their way, and they hustling, they grinding. But a lot of people are still stuck in the same place. You feel me? Like it's hard for a lot of people to do a lot of things. You feel me? So for me to have what I have, and for God to bless me, I all glory to Him. You feel me? So um, you know, I, I said that to say, man, uh, I'm glad that I was able to just give her. You know what I'm saying? Bless her her own way, you feel me? And, you know what I'm saying? Be a good deed, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. All right, y'all. So, it was good, y'all. So, man, just, as y'all can see, man, I'm back in. It's currently nighttime. So, right now, me and the game, we plan on going to Rubik's for the night. It's like a little arcade. But, you know what I'm saying? It's just something to do, just a chilling vibe. And, yeah, man. Uh, one thing I do want to say, man, uh, I'm definitely staying true, and I'm definitely staying true to my word. Like I said, this year, bro, it's all about consistency, content, and, you know what I'm saying, going up on YouTube, you feel me? Because, like, last year, you know what I'm saying, I was doing my content, but I, I had, like, a slow following. But this year, like, I'm all in. Like, I'm so locked in. Like, the only way I'm going somewhere is if I can film it, you feel me? Because I need content, you know what I'm saying? And, and being in El Paso, El Paso boring as shit. I ain't gonna hold you. But at the end of the day, man, it is what it is like i'm staying true i'm staying content and i'm living out my dreams you feel me because like i said five years from now bro when i'm in a better position by the all glory to god shit gonna be up bro but as y'all can see man i do got that shit on you know what i'm saying of course i got the offline fit you know what i'm saying i got the offline beanie so but let me show y'all the whole fit hold on hold on, hold on. All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, man, of course I got an offline beanie on, you know what I'm saying? Anytime y'all see me wear something, of course I got offline on, right? Then I got a fierce and unique jacket on, you feel me? Like, hold on, like, yeah, you feel me? Yeah. Then I go Club LFF on the pants, you feel me? Then I go Balenciaga on the sneaks, you feel me? Some cool, you know what I'm saying? Some cool comic collective, man, but... You know what I'm saying, bro? I told y'all, bro, this year, bro, I'm definitely putting that shit on, you feel me? Like, I don't think you niggas understand. Like, I'm really coming trim this year. And like I said, bro, every time I go up, bro, we go up, you feel me? Like, y'all my family, bro. And I appreciate y'all rocking with me. I appreciate y'all watching the videos, tuning in, and, you know what I'm saying? Fucking with a nigga. Now, you right there, you right there that's watching this video right now, Subscribe, nigga. Like, tell me the real reason why you ain't subscribing you watching right now. Please, bro. Tell me how that makes sense, bro. Like, because it don't fuck, nigga. It don't add up. Yeah, man. As y'all can see, man. Like I said, bro, I definitely got a cool little comfort on. And I got on stunning shades for your hoe. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Incognito, where she can't see me. Nah, man, but I definitely love glasses, man. You feel me? Like, I feel like glasses, glasses are a part of my aesthetic. And, you know what I'm saying? That's just me, bro. But... You know what I'm saying, bro? You know what I'm saying? I got that shit on. Got a cool, calm little fit on. Might flick up tonight, you feel me? So, who knows, bro? But one thing I do want to say, man, if you did click this video, I definitely appreciate you watching, bro. Like, I'm definitely growing. You know what I'm saying? Any progress is better than no progress at all, you feel me? Stay tuned. Great content is coming. And, yeah, bro. So, right now, I'm about to head to the arcade. And, yeah, let's do it. All right, so it was good, y'all. So as y'all can see, man, we finally made it to Retro K, as y'all can see, man. And it's crazy, cause I think in my, I think in my um, best past old wing vlog, I said I was supposed to come here, but I ended up coming here. So it's crazy. I, th I said that last year that I was gonna come here, and I'm actually here. So I'm about to go inside, and I'm about to see what it's hitting on. Y'all, so we actually here, but I'm talking real loud due to copyright, but bro, this place is ass. I ain't gonna hold you in. It's loud music, so obviously I'm not gonna be able to record, but just know this place is not what we thought it was, but to avoid being copyrighted, I'll get back to y'all when we get it something else. So, hey man, as y'all can see, man, I'm le I'm currently leaving right now, and hold on, the lightning bad that way. 
But as y'all can see, man, right now I'm leaving. Like I said, man, it, it was a cool little chill little place, but it definitely wasn't what we was expecting, you feel me? So right now we on the way home and I'll probably pick up the camera tomorrow because nine times out of 10, we ain't about to get it to shit at like 11 or 12 at night besides clubbing. And I told y'all I'm dead with that because I'm simply chasing all my dreams and my goals. And like I said, I'm going to make it happen with becoming a successful YouTuber and stand down, you feel me? So with that being said, I'll pick up the camera tomorrow. Alright, so what's good y'all, man? As y'all can see, it is currently the next day, and I ain't gonna lie, man, I'm about to give me some food, bro. I'm hungry as hell. Um, yesterday, I really didn't eat, but like one time, for real, for real, because like, I had probably ate like around like 12 or something like that, but ever since then, I ain't eating. I was hungry as hell last night, because um, like I said, like y'all seen, uh, we had what's that little arcade last night, and I was gonna get some food, but... My mood was blown, I ain't gonna lie. So I was just like, I wouldn't even, like, I lost my appetite and everything, so I wasn't really hungry. And so another thing, I don't eat past nine o'clock. And the reason is because, like, you know, usually, like, when you eat and you go straight to sleep, and that food sitting on your stomach again. With me, with me trying to achieve all my goals this year, that's not on the agenda, you know what I'm saying? Eating past nine, you know what I'm saying? So that's just a little goal for my, I set for myself. And so far, I've honestly been sticking to it, no matter how hungry I get, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, your body always adjusts. To whatever you do, you know what I'm saying. So that that was just another goal to mine is not eat past nine because, like I said, man, when I be like, sometimes I be eating like 10, 11 o'clock at night, then I go straight to bed and that should be sitting on my stomach, and now I'm wondering why I look like, you know what I'm saying, why I look like what I look like. You feel me? So yeah, man, that was another reason why I didn't eat last night. Cause I was like, man, I just gotta stay disciplined, stay down, and stay on my journey. You feel me? Because. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's hard. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes it be hard. It's easy to it's easy it's easy to do the wrong thing, but it's hard to do the right thing. If that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, I, I I've been eating in the house lately. Like I've been buying groceries. Now I, now one thing I do need I do say is that I do need to just like start eating like more fruit because I eat fruit, but not on a constantly frequently basis. You know what I'm saying? But one thing I'm gonna start doing is eating fruit because like I said, um. I know I, I start. I'm starting to notice because, like I said, I'm probably like, I ain't gonna hold y'all, and y'all probably be like, "What the hell?" But I'm really only like two days in, maybe. Or I just say a week. Let's just say a week. Realistically, a week, a weekend eating fruit, and I'm seeing a huge change in my body. You feel me? So, with that being said, bro, I, I'm, you know, what I'm saying I just gotta stay disciplined, and I just gotta make sure that I'm not constantly eating out, spending unnecessary money, and stuff like that, man. I'm feeling good this morning, man. Y'all probably think like, why I got that small ass beanie on my head? It was big. And shout out to Sal, bro. I'm always rocking his brand, bro. But it was big, but the beanie did and did shriek when I washed it. So that's probably why it looks so small. But at the end of the day, bro, bro, as long as you got confidence or whatever you rocking, bro, it don't matter what a nigga thing. You feel me? So I'm rocking it. I'm cool, man. I'm gonna show y'all the drip whenever I go inside the store. Or I'll show y'all the drip later Cause I, uh, I did and dress like my old self Which was you know Which, which y'all see Well y'all don't know Y'all really don't know So uh, I posted a video a while back before I took it down It was called Nostalgia And that's when I bought um, I bought a jacket It was a halter jacket And with that being said like uh, when I show you how to fit, you're gonna be like, oh, okay, this look like a Dallas nigga type fit, you feel me? But I just took it back to my roots, man, because at the, at the end of the day, bro, like, you don't always have to wear designer. You don't always have to um, be fly. You ain't gotta be flash, you know what I'm saying, bro? It's cool, bro. And, like, one thing, bro, that's a difference. Everything you wear is designer. Because you didn't design that shit. Somebody else designed it, so it's designer. But, you know what I'm saying? It's a difference between luxury designer brands. And regular designer brands And you know what I'm saying I dibble and dabble in both And honestly because I'm already knowing Like if an if a influencer was the word Y'all would word Hey man so another thing man Make sure y'all are drinking water bro Cause it's gonna show when y'all pee If y'all drinking water or not Cause I'm telling you bro Like you know when y'all feel dehydrated Or something like that It's cause y'all not drinking enough water man Like drink your water bro That's why it's there Now I ain't saying you gotta drink tap water I ain't saying you gotta drink Fiji water Nothing like that But just make sure Every day y'all drinking water bro I'm telling you bro It's gonna make your body feel good You're gonna feel hydrated The whole nine man You're gonna feel Ten times more better Cause a lot of y'all Probably just be drinking Soda and juices Every day And not drinking water And then y'all wonder Why y'all piss look dark brown Bro drink your water bro Drink your water bro I'm telling you I'm telling you It'll pay off bro Alright y'all So I got it Let's try it Let's rate it on the scale From one to ten Mm. 
Alright, alright. 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 Let's try. Let's try the chicken sound. Let's try the chicken sound. So we got our Chick fil A sauce, as y'all can see. And we got buffalo sauce. Hey, drop in the comments below, man. When y'all get y'all chicken sandwich or deluxe chicken sandwich or chicken nuggets or whatever, what kind of sauce do y'all eat it with? Polynesian, buffalo, um, ranch, Chick-fil-A sauce. Drop in the comments below, man. Let me know how y'all eat y'all Chick-fil-A sandwich. All right, so you want to get a good, good amount like this, so y'all can see. All right, y'all ready? Mm. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, but Chick Fil A is a ten out of ten. Chick Fil A never failed me. I'd eat a meal like this. You know what you got to wash them down with? Some quality H two O. They gotta drink your water, man. I'm telling y'all. Ten times out of ten. Hey man, I know when y'all eat food, y'all usually be wanting soda, some type of city to wash it down. Drink water, man. And I'm not saying you can't, you know, have like lemonade here and there. Cause I drink zero calorie lemonade, but bro, drink your water, bro. Just just drink, just drink it. Just drink your water, bro. But what I'm about to do, man, I'm about to finish destroying this food. And yeah, man, I pick up the camera once I get it to something else. Alright, so it's good y'all, so man, y'all can see man, I'm currently at Dick's Sporting Goods And right now I'm about to go look for a, uh, a tent for uh, uh, NTC If y'all don't know man, NTC is a big uh, training exercise that we go to in California for a month man But hey man, let me know bro, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about getting all the routes I don't know man, let me know what y'all think man I'm thinking, about, I'm thinking about doing something different this year I'm thinking about rapping her and spicing it up a little bit but You know what I'm saying, before I, get me on, before I get my new car man, so let me know, man. Drop in the comments below. Let me know what y'all think, man. Should I wrap Autumn or no? So, right now, I'm currently by the sleeping bags, but I need to find a tent section so I can find a tent for NTC because I know it's about to be cold. So, let me see. Let me keep looking. They got, like, a whole bunch of, like, air mattresses and shit like that. These are... This would be, these are good. These are good to sleep on when you're outside. I'd probably buy a tent in this, to be honest with you. Just so I can have something to sleep on when I'm outside, so I can roll it up. Uh, well, we got an outdoor we got an outdoor shelter thing right here. But that's not really a tent, you feel me? I need a, I, <clears throat> I need a tent that I can pack in my bag. So, because I'm only bringing one bag with me besides my carry-on. And I don't want to carry too much shit. But I do need something that's durable. I need something that's durable, but I don't know, bro. This look, this look pretty reliable. I ain't gonna hold you. Camp mat. I ain't gonna hold you. I might fuck around and get this. Just simply because I know I can lay on this when I'm outside, or I can put this on my cot, or anything, so I can sleep comfortably. So up, oh. and without further ado, bro, I found the tents. So. With, with me being military, I gotta find me like a green tent or something of that nature because they say any other color won't go. So, I gotta find me a suitable tent. Ah, uh, damn, this not, this not, this not no good, bro. I need like an army camo tent or something. Because I'm definitely, I'm definitely getting a mat, you feel me? I'm definitely getting a mat, but like I said, I just need it. I'm gonna see it on the other side, they got tents. Let me see. Yeah, you know, I'm coming through. Nope, it's just shoes. Damn. I need a mat. I need a tent. I need a good stabilized tent, man. <sighs> mm. I don't know, man. What y'all think about this, bro? Like, it's clear, but I'm thinking about the wind, like, I don't want the wind to get inside, you feel me? And, like, this look cool, but they might say something about that. They might say something about that blue, you feel me? So it's just like, damn, what do I do? Decisions, decisions, decisions. So let me figure out what I could do. 
I need to see if they got, uh, what's another area? They probably the only tent section they got in here. That's probably all they got right now. What color is this? Yeah, you know I'm coming trim. I can't go out like I'm birdie. Shoot this bitch above the rim. Louis Slim Trunks, yeah, I don't even swim. Bitches see me like that's him. I might have to go to another store. I ain't gonna hold y'all, cuz. They only got limited options in here. And like I said, it either have to be a black or a green tent, or they gonna be tweaking out. So, I pick up the camera once I, I find me a new tent. So, I ain't gonna hold y'all, bro. I'm still in the store, bro. But let me show y'all this hard ass North Face, bro. So, look at this, bro. If I had like a woman, I'd buy this for just even though it's North Face, bro. This is it's tough. Bro, that's tough as hell. I ain't gonna hold you. That shit fire. I mean, and right now, y'all wondering why, like, dang a lot, this even hard, bro. Like, that's fire shit. Like, what? I ain't gonna hold you. If it was, like, super cold, let's say if I was in, like, Colorado or something, bro, I even buy these. I got some cool shit. Simply because, like, I'm trying to get my fashion game up, and I'm trying to dress different, you feel me? But that shit is indeed hard. I ain't gonna hold you. But I, had to, I just have to show y'all that, bro, right quick before I head out. Before I buy this and head out, because that's fire, bro. Like... Only if I had a shorty, I would have bought it for her. But, you know what I'm saying? Stay celibate, stay single, all 2024, until you find the right one. Yeah. And 14, as y'all seen, they didn't have no tents in there. So, with that being said, uh, I asked one of the clerks that worked there, and he said, I got to go away to Cabela's to go get one. Now, Cabela's, they sell all type of things, from weapons to um, guns. The whole nine, like the whole outdoor things, you know what I'm saying? So that's what Cabela's is. But the only thing is, I'm on the east side, it's way on the west side. So I gotta make that drive to find me a tent. Cause like I said, I want a tent because um, I don't got no tent cots. Now, I think y'all probably thinking like, damn, you could easily go on post and find one. But nine times out of 10, like I said, it's a whole brigade going to uh, NTC. And I know people's first instinct is to go on post. So I know on post probably don't got nothing. Now, I should look, but I'm not going to look. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to just go ahead and go to Cabela's and find some. So I'm going to go to Cabela's. I'm going to see what they got. And then hopefully I'll find one. So, yeah. All right, so what's good, y'all? So as y'all can see, man, I'm currently inside Cabela's. I didn't plan on recording inside here. No cap. But I got to show y'all this, bro. So look how expensive this shit is, bro. Like two nineteen, five ninety nine, two uh two twenty nine, one sixty nine for a goddamn tent, bro. Mind you, I'm only gonna be out there for it's really it's really for every time I go to the field, bro, but goddamn bro. Maybe I should go to the um maybe I should go to the post service. I don't know. But I'm gonna keep looking bro. Cause this shit this shit ridiculous. Oh and also let me show you how to drip right quick so y'all can see me. I got on like I said my old set man. I grew up wearing Hollister, so I got on Hollister. Then I got on Doss pants with some Jordans. Now, mind you, I ain't gonna hold y'all. I didn't grow up wearing Jordans, but I definitely grew up wearing like Her Hollister, Apostle, and stuff like that, man. So that's why I say this bring back like childhood nostalgia, cause this is this is what I grew up on. So y'all see the trip, man. I see you ain't gotta do too much. You ain't gotta be too flashy. You can be cool, calm, collective. But you see, man, the shit is on lightly, lightly. You know what I'm saying? But not too much, but you know what I'm saying? I got a cool kind of look to it on. Also, I, I got I have to fix my hat right quick, bro, because y'all seen that shit a little wopsided. Now, I keep fixing my beanie. Like I said, it was kind of small for my head because, you know, it's shrunk. But God damn, bro, that shit was looking kind of crazy. I had to get right. We right, though. We right, we right, we right. All right, so it's good, y'all. So as y'all can see, man, I'm currently back at the house. And let me show you the tent that I got. So I ended up getting this tent right here, man. Uh, I put it in this shirt because it would have been on the ground. But I'm trying to show y'all this the tent that I got. So that end up that end up costing me like 116 dollars but then i did it uh i did like a little donation so it ended up being like 120 or something like that man but i said that to say man i'll be going to ntc i'll be going for like two weeks in a box and what that means is they talking about no phones no nothing so i won't be able to publicly you know what I'm saying promote my videos but if you're watching this video right now you made it this far in the video man share the videos like the videos watch comment subscribe you feel me do the whole nine, you know what I'm saying? Uh, obviously, when I get out the field, then I'll be promoting my videos and I'll be making more content. But unfortunately, with me being in the military, in the military, I always want to do some shit. You know what I'm saying? I have to.
do a mission you feel me so with that being said man support me like comment subscribe once again and promote my videos you know what I'm saying I'm on my way to 1k subscribers and then Lord bless by the end of the year get 10k subscribers so I'm on that journey I'm on that road but I definitely appreciate y'all tuning in and we out